Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've created a custom crafting V2, which is an upgrade from my last version. If you haven't seen that video, there will be a link in the description to it. So, the upgrade um, is that you can have the crafting table anywhere in the world you want. And also, it's a bit more compact, but at the cost of being a bit more complex. So, I'm just going to show you how this works. So let's um, quickly start this. So you want to first get a dropper called Crafting Table 2 with uh, two capital I's. Place it facing upwards and put a crafting table in the middle and throw a diamond on top. Okay. So I'm just going to show off all the crafting recipes I've got. And also there is a cool feature where once you put it in you have to crouch and then it will be made. So nether sword, sort of the nether god. That's the first one. Then we have three poppies, so let's just put those in. Crouch, and we've got a rose bush. Um, four planks. Just put them into the crafting table like so. Crouch, and we get a log. And nine stone bricks will give you chisel stone bricks. So that is basically how it works and you can also break it and there will be nothing left behind and I'll show you why that is now. Okay, so here's the workings behind it. This line here is the way that you can place the crafting table anywhere in the world and it also includes a little bit of the um, sneaking um, activation thing. And then this side here um, is the crafting recipes and from the command block here to the last impulse command block in that row is one crafting recipe and as you can see I've got four here and I'll also show you how to make a cell. Also take note that all of these commands will be in the description below so you can go check them out if you get lost. And also it uses the stats command which it's one part and it's very easy. So I'm just going to clear my inventory and let's get straight into this. So. First of all we have got objectives, we have four, one called sneak timer which is a dummy, craft on which is a dummy, craft which is a dummy and sneak which is a stat on sneak time which is a new feature and I'll also link that video into the description, it's called crouch detection v2. So yeah, let's get straight into this now. So first of all we are going to scoreboard, play a set at e, type equals item, craft on to one if the item is a diamond. Then we are going to execute at E that's got a score craft on equaling one um, which is the diamond and then we'll do a test for block under the diamond for a dropper facing upwards that's the one with the custom name crafting table 2 and the items inside must be in slot 4 and it has to be a crafting table and it must be one crafting table. Now this is where the stats command comes in. Basically what you want to do is type in stats and then block and then on this command block just press tab 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 while you're looking at it go set success count of at a and then craft. Now that's done we can move on to the rest of the system. So, we are going to execute at A, who's got a score craft of 1. So basically, if the diamond is on top of the crafting table with a crafting, on top of the dropper with a crafting table inside, then we will execute at the diamond's location and we will summon an armor stand at the diamond's location. With no gravity, it must be invisible with the custom name of craft. Now, then we're going to execute at a score craft minimum 1 and execute at e score craft on minimum 1 and then we'll replace item block negative 1 under the diamond in slot 4 with minecraft air so it'll just take away the crafting table inside then we'll execute at a score craft minimum 1 and then we'll do play sound random dot level up to add a within a radius of 5 Volume 7, minimum 
um, pitch one minimum volume one. Then we're going to execute at a score craft minimum one, and then we'll kill at e score craft on minimum equaling one within a radius of five. Okay. Now these three command blocks are to do with the sneak, and I'll show you that now. But this one basically will kill the armor stand, the craft, um, if they if you break the dropper. So we're going to execute at e name equals craft at its location, and we will detect negative one under him for air zero. And if that's true, we'll just kill at e within a radius of zero name equals craft. So basically, if there's no drop under him, we kill him. Okay, so now we're going to move on to these three command blocks. So just take note of this um, score called Sneak Timer and Sneak. So basically what we're going to do is add 1 to Sneak Timer if a player is sneaking or if they have sneaked or snuck, don't know what it is. Scoreboard object is set display sidebar Sneak Timer. If I do that, as you can see when I sneak that goes up to 5 every time and if it goes um, sneak as you can see it goes up to random numbers if I hold it longer it will go up higher so let's um, let me show you how that works so we'll add one to sneak timer if a player sneaks then we're gonna set all players with a score sneak timer minimum of 5 we're gonna set their sneak to 0 and also set their sneak timer to 0 which will allow the system to pick up that you have sneaked instead of instead of making it go away super fast it actually gives the system a quarter of a second to figure out that you've sneaked again these commands will be in the description if you didn't understand that so now we are going to move on to the cells and I'm also going to show you how to make one so I'm just going to do one example so we're going to execute at A with a score sneak equaling 1 at their location. Then we're going to execute at E name equals craft within a radius of 5. If that's true, we will do a test for block under craft for a dropper facing upwards. Custom name, crafting table 2, and then the items inside. You don't have to worry about this because it's just basically a copy paste thing, which I'll show you how to do. If it does find that, it will um, output a signal here, and then we'll do execute at e name equals craft play sound random dot anvil underscore use to at a with the um, <laughs> volume seven pitch one and minimum volume one, and then here we're gonna execute at e name equals craft set block negative one. Um, Set block negative one with the dropper facing upwards, replace with the custom name crafting table two with the items, then I'll show you how to do that again right now. So this is the rosebush poppy thing. And then the rest just carry on. So now we will make one by ourselves. So basically what we're gonna do here is execute at E name equals craft at his location and then we will do a play sound random dot and will underscore use to at a um, there and 7.0 1.0 1 1.0 okay so that's the play sound command, and then this command is execute at e name equals craft at its location set block negative one under him with a dropper one replace, and then we'll do a copy paste there. And here we are going to execute at A with a score underscore sneak underscore min equaling 1 at their location. Then we're going to execute at E name equals craft 
then a radius of 5, add its location, then we'll do a test for block under him for a dropper one and then I'll copy paste will go there so what I'm gonna do is make a crafting recipe where if you put a drop a wet sponge inside of a of this thing and crouch it will come out as a dry sponge so what you first want to do is get your blocks so I'm going to use a sponge and a wet sponge. My input is going to be a wet sponge in the center. Then what you do is come press this button with this command. Make sure these coordinates are selecting your um, dropper. Then click down here, press Control A, hold down Shift, and press the right arrow until you get to the end of this curly bracket. Press Control C. Then go down here and then just press Ctrl V at the test for block and then take out these coordinates here the Z, Y and X and also make sure you still have the comma between items and crafting table. Then you want to go back up to your thing, put in your output, press the button again, do the exact same thing, Ctrl C go to your output command block control V and then take out these items still making sure you have the comma between the grotting table and the items so that is it done and if I do it okay I found out the problem what I forgot to do was just put a diamond in here so diamond and a crafting table of course could we need to reactivate the crafting table okay there we go so now if I put in the wet sponge and a crouch it will make the sound and here is our dry sponge so that is basically how this thing works if you enjoyed it will be greatly appreciated if you leave a like and if you haven't subscribed already that would also be quite awesome so I will see you all next time